But how do you see the difference here in age and experience playing out, Ernesto? Yeah, it is difficult to say. Um, I mean, when I was 19, I was not fighting on this podium yet. Um, mm. So I wonder uh, how far he is. But uh, I have to say uh, the first moves, uh, they look quite good. Yeah, some some very good counter punching and good kicking going on. Yeah. Yes. But yeah, it's the beginning of the fight, and uh, I don't know if it's uh, uh, experience over age or the other way around. Well, the young man is not holding back. He's throwing power punches. Yes. Those hooks are strong. Yeah. But we have to take into account it's a big stage. He has to be under pressure. That was a yeah. lovely low kick in the finish there. Yeah. Um, you can burn yourself out if you if you go too hard early on, and you're not used to this pressure. It can overcome you. Exactly. Well, we don't know if he's used to this pressure because some some young fighters have already good experience. Nice, but, uh, nice hooks there. And up till now, he's doing very good. The good shots to the body. I would say very explosive, very yeah. explosive. They both so. are, but uh, wow! It looks like he's got a game plan. He's definitely trying to soften the body up of uh, Vincenzo De Nicola from uh, Italy. Yeah. And it was lovely. It was a. Sl I don't know. I just like. I call it the Dutch style when these guys throw hooks and finish off with a low with kick. With a kick, yes, yeah, I understand that. It's poetry in motion for me. <laughs> yeah. That was a, a nice, long, rangey sort of wide hook there. Glanced off his opponent. Well, when Vincenzo throws uh, th his kicks and his punches, he's doing quite good. But uh, yeah, but the Italian, uh, he's, he's, he's just uh, uh, Constantine, I mean, uh, he's just uh, more explosive. Yes, there's those oh, hooks wow. again. Yep, he's turning away. He didn't like that, did yeah. he? Yeah. yeah, that means that he's in trouble. Yeah, those hooks are landing, not necessarily on the chin, but on the temple. The body shots and those low kicks have marked up the legs already. They're yeah. definitely going to slow him down. Yeah, might hurt him already. Slow him down, uh, like you say. Uh, And that's the end of the first round. Very interesting round. So on my scorecard, which is completely unofficial, uh -huh. but I like to lay it on the line each time I commentate, I would have to give that a 10-9 to the red corner. For sure. Those hooks were strong, yeah, stiff, well, it was... explosive. And you can yeah. see the damage yeah. on the legs of our blue corner. Uh, especially the explosiveness uh, was uh, big. And uh, I think uh, Constantine can be happy that uh, he hasn't been uh, or hit hard on his head because uh, he was seriously in trouble sometimes. And if yeah. I look at the marks on his, on his legs, it says that he has been hit uh, good a few times. And the problem with those low kicks is it doesn't wear off. <laughs> it gets exactly. worse as the well, fight goes on. Exactly. Uh, now I'm just wondering what the Bulgarians have told Konstantin to, to, um, to do coming out into this second round. They must have a game plan, either check the kick or they know that they know that the Italian's going to come in with hooks. Well, the thing is, uh, the Italian is very explosive, very aggressive. So you have to fight back. You have to be aggressive too, in my opinion. Um, and head movement is, is key. If someone's throwing hooks like this upstairs, you've got to roll, get out of the way of it. But then you've got to watch out for the knees coming in. Apart, if apart from head movement, it's already, uh, you have to fight back. And that's what he tries, he tries to do now. Yeah, he hit him good, I think. Yeah, oh, that was good, a lovely hook. Right? Yes. 
Nice yes. spinning back fist yeah. too. Yeah. This is what people want to see. It looks like he realizes that he has to fight back. Well, that's what he's doing now. He's not the gum shield out. The referee Andy Sauer there sees it straight away. He's going to replace that. The Bulgarian's in a neutral corner, but I think he smelt blood there. Yeah. He threw that, that right hook. It landed. He had some success. Exactly. And I think it's given him some confidence. Well, you know, this... this he gets so much rest now it's it's like a, like an eight count or a, or a 10 count or yeah, a 20 yeah. count and actually you've got to be careful if you're the fighter you think you're having some success and, a, and your, your opponent gets a little rest like that exactly you can rush in yeah but, but he didn't do that yeah. by swinging hooks coming in now yeah well they're both swinging their punches and uh they're both aggressive you have the idea they've the first one who lands good is going to win this fight but you've got to set them up. If you're going to throw a big bomb exactly. like that, you can't just throw a big swinger, a big haymaker. Set it up with a jab, push kick, get your opponent off balance, boom! No, basically no, but sometimes they do and sometimes it works, you know? It's mm. like... That, that's what... That, basically, that's what, what fights make, fighting makes... But that's what makes fights exciting, because you never know. Yeah. And that's, it doesn't matter what plan you have. Exactly. Once you get kicked in the leg or smacked in the chops, yeah. your plan goes out the window. Yeah. Then there's plan B. Mm. So we see here the Bulgarian is coming forward and having more success in the second round. Well, it looks like the Italian is, is tired. I agree. It looks like he, uh, he threw all his bombs already, but... He's not as explosive as in the first round. And we said that experience counts. He came out well, yeah, swinging from the fences. Yeah, he still comes back with good punches, but uh, not as explosive as uh, as in the first round. So I wonder what the third round is going to bring. Mm. Here we go, the end of the second round there. And well, absolutely fantastic way to start the evening. Yeah. And, and an intriguing way to go uh -huh. into the third and final round yeah. because I've got it one round apiece now. Yes, I got it. Uh, I yeah. don't know if it's a 10 10 system, but uh, <coughs> then it's, if it's a 10 10 system, it's 19 19 for me now. Right. Now, you mentioning uh, scoring, Ernesto. Yeah. I always look at judges' scorecards. Yes. And if I ever see a judge score a round 10 10. Yes. I think sack that judge. I don't know. It's, it, sometimes it is difficult. I mean, sometimes the dif difference is so small that you don't want to give it to the one or the other. Or the other. Well, and if I look, if I see this now, I mean, this is that clearly uh, the 10, 10 to 10, 10, 9 to the first to the to the red uh -huh. corner and 10 9 to the to the blue corner. So for but me, there's, it's, there's always something that can true. separate them. True. Something. Yeah, you're right uh, about that. The only time I would say 10-10 is when neither guy does anything, so neither guy deserves yeah, to win exactly. the round. That's the only time. I understand. Well, let's see what's going to happen now. I think the Bulgarian is going to come out in this final round. He's seen the Italians tired. He yeah. had six of some success in that second round. He's not getting kicked in the leg like he was in the first round. So it's allowing him to step forward. Oh, the Italian is far more quiet uh, than compared with, uh, with the first round. And I don't know if it's, if it's, if it's experience or uh, because he's quite young. Mm. But uh, uh, makes it good right now. But he's not as explosive anymore. Yeah, but this is down to conditioning. Yeah. Uh, it's not just... Uh, maybe not experience. experience. Yeah. And the Bulgarian's corner there shouting, Davai, telling him to come forward. Yeah, uh, but Italian is still, he's still dangerous. He's, he's still explosive. I, I was with just his moves. about to say, those hooks yeah. that he was throwing earlier on, yeah. he's still got the power, and you've only got to land one on the, on the button. Exactly. Well, so. you, see, you see, he's tired, but uh, he's, still, he's still explosive. So it's interesting to see uh, how this is going to uh, work out. And it's still. Halfway through the third and final round, it's still anybody's contest. Still anybody's fight. But the Bulgarian has definitely grown in, grown in confidence. Well, he's, he's putting the pace now. He's setting the pace. He's uh, oh, the aggressor. Oh, lovely right hand. He's the aggressor. And, uh, and the Italian, Italian yeah, it's still dangerous. Yeah, but Vincenzo is missing. 
with, with some of those hooks. He's leaving yeah. himself open for a counter True. from the Bulgarian. True. But he's still quite explosive, despite the fact he's uh, very tired already. And actually, it also, we're talking about experience, Konstantin mm -hmm. Mikhailov, mm -hmm. he has been in the Senchi ring before, so yeah. he's coming back to somewhere where he, he a place that he knows. Yeah. Vincenzo De Nicola from Italy, this is his, he's making his debut, not, yeah. not in kickboxing, but in the Senchi ring. Yeah. And a new event can create a new atmosphere and throw you off your stride somewhat. Well, uh, out in an, an, an open air fight is also might Unusual. be new for him. Yeah, 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 yeah. Still working hard, the Bulgarian. 30 seconds left of this third and final round. Well, he's, he's controlling the fight now. Uh, I think he's also getting tired, but uh, I think he have done has done enough. Uh, if he's not uh, getting a down, if he's not getting a down, uh, he's gonna win the fight, in my opinion. Uh -huh. Lost, losing the first round, first round, and uh, winning the second and the third round. That's it. The third and final round over. We're gonna go to the judges' scorecards. So full credit to each fighter. They've gone the distance. Yeah. Wow. A great what an incredible first fight of the evening. As we are waiting for the scorecard from the judges. We can reflect upon some of the incredible action we just saw in that fight. Who would have imagined Vincenzo only being 19 years old from Italia with such a brave heart? Yep, that was a fantastic matchup. Right from the outset, the very first contest of the evening. And great matchmaking makes great fights. Exactly. Fireworks from both sides. And that's for the crowd. I see referee Andy Sauer is checking out the ring. Everything is always considered in the best interest of the fighters so that we have the best conditions to absolutely use our best. What an incredible fight. Senshi 18. It's we it. are having our judge check out the scorecards. It's interesting. The first contest of the evening and there's already yeah. an air of anticipation to find yeah, out exactly. who the winner well, is. It's, it's uh, exciting. Yeah, that, that's, that's always good to see. Uh. And we mentioned, uh, you mentioned uh, an open air venue. Yeah. I mean, when I was uh, fighting mediocre level uh -huh. many, many years ago in, I've seen worse. in nightclubs and venues where people were smoking. Yeah. And <laughs> I, would have dream, I would have dreamed of fighting yeah. somewhere with some fresh air. Yeah. Uh, yeah. We can be happy that things uh, changed a lot. Man, people smoking cigarettes, cigar, yeah. cigars, and yeah. you're you're up in the air with all the smokes exactly. coming up. Exactly. But we didn't know better than, and now we do. No, and that was the time when you had to pay to fight. Exactly. Man. <laughs> so we wait for the judges' decision on this first contest of Century 18. 12 fights on our card tonight, ladies and gentlemen. A world-class lineup, 11 kickboxing matches, one mixed martial arts fight, and top of the bill tonight is two title fights fighting for a Senshi European Championship well, As we are belt. waiting for the judges' scorecard. I need the, I need the, I need Nicholas Petters here, another living legend, former K1 champion, and a Sheehan in the Kaika Shenkai. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for your patience. We have the judges' official scorecards in the red corner versus the blue corner, 29 to 29. Judge number two, 29 to 29. It is a draw. Judge number three is 28-29. We will go into an extension one extra round. Well, 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 Ernesto. I wouldn't have expected that. I but, didn't uh... expect that, but actually, no. I'm not unhappy. No, <laughs> because we get another round of great action. Yeah. That's what I think, too. Now, this is where... Um, and a lot of guys never prepare for that fourth round no. to come out. So if you've completely switched off in your mind and your body, how do you switch back on? 
Yeah, very well, difficult. You know, it happened to me also, and it's like you have no choice. You have no choice, you but the, no choice. this is where a good corner can really bring the best out in a fighter. Maybe, but I think I think personally that it has to come out out of the fighter himself. The so fighter has to show show the big heart now. The fighter might be tired. The fighter uh, might be exhausted. But the fighter must give it all again one extra round. So it's it, interesting to see how... It's at how times how like this, you know whether your guy is a real warrior or not. Exactly. Wow. Exactly. And people watching at home, if you've never stepped inside a boxing ring or an MMA cage, if you've never competed, this can be the loneliest place in the world. You're on your own in a pair of shorts and a pair of gloves, ready to either get knocked out or knock someone out. You're laying it all on the line like a modern day gladiator. It's a unique experience, is it That's not? exactly how you say it. It's modern, modern day gladiators. So, our Italian, he's coming forward. Looks focused. Now, that, that low kick, he dropped his left hand there. He's very open to a counter. It's normal to drop your hand, but you have to put your right hand in front of your face, mm. basically. But that's not what always happens, especially when you're getting tired already. He's got good knees. When he, when he comes in and throws that knee... Yeah, but that's all they're taking their time now. They're they've got one round. I know what you're thinking. They've got one round to make a difference. Let's go. Exactly, yeah, but they are tired already. And they might have hoped that they won the fight and then have to go another round. Mm. It's quite hard. And actually, if I anybody... Out of experience. If anybody knows, this is a fourth round to decide the fight. This this round is scored on its own merits. Yeah. So forget the last three rounds. Yes. This is scored on its own. Yes. If this round is a 10-10, there can be a fifth and final round. can be round. a fifth round. Then, yeah. it's, then the whole fight is scored in its entirety. Exactly. That is very, very, very rare. Yeah. Oh, great. Now, he's got him in the corner. Nice uppercut there. He was looking for a knee at the end of that combination. Now, look, we've got one minute, 20 seconds left. Yeah. The Italian is very, very tired. Yeah, looks like... Uh, he, has, he has done... Uh, he has given it all in the first three rounds. And now it's clear that he, uh, he doesn't have the power anymore. Well, I mean, whatever happens, he's got a huge potential ahead of him. If he's matched well and looked after, he can really go far. At 19 years of age, on this stage, fantastic performance. Yeah. And that first round, he won hands down. Yeah. The Bulgarian has come stronger, though, and that is down to conditioning and preparation, I would say. Maybe, yes. Uh, experience. I mean, the, the, the Italian looks quite not so experienced. Mm. But taking, taking too many punches now. Yeah. But when you step up and start fighting the big boys, it's a different game. That's what it happens, and uh, yeah. Yeah, that's when you separate the boys from the men. <laughs> that's how they say that. <laughs> yeah. There we are, the end of the fourth extra round. And I'll give credit, hats off to both guys. For sure. Fantastic way. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. To start Some fights a just have to go evening. the full distance. Yeah. What an action packed first beginning. So we go to the judges' scorecards once again for this fourth and final round. And everybody is sitting with bated breath. Now, let's just remember that this is an extra round where it is a must system. For the special pretender, presenter of the awards, we are welcoming Mr. Albert Kraus, the hurricane himself. Albert, How are you feeling tonight, sir? You're very fine. You're looking very fine. <laughs> Albert looks like he's ready to fight, Ernesto. I don't know. <laughs> he's only in there to, to give a trophy.
So here we go, Andy Sauer handing that. And here we have it. Let's get the fighters to the center of the ring. Nick Pettis awaiting the decision. I think we know how it's going to go. Judge number one in favor of the blue corner. Nine to ten. Judge number two, nine to ten. Judge number three, nine to ten. In the blue corner, we have our winner. Well, overall, that was a fantastic performance Hello. from both fighters. Yes. And I don't think Vincenzo De Nicola from Italy, he shouldn't go home holding his head low. His corner should be telling him everything he did positive in that fight and where he can grow and learn from that sure. experience. Um, I think he, uh, I think he uh, had a, it must have been a great experience for him. He did very good. And uh, I hope for him that he can come back with more experience and then for sure yeah. uh, he can be a very good fighter. Uh, like you say, at 19 years of age, you weren't fighting at this level. I was, no, a, ba I was a baby at 19. So to well, be I fought my, my sixth, seventh fight, I think, when I was 19 and uh, in total. Right. And I was a talent, but uh, not on this stage yet. Yeah.